Hi guys, <laughs> welcome back. It's been a long time. This is the May update for my bioactive pyudarium. Everything's okay, okay? I did some rearranging of some things. That thing is not in the way anymore. <laughs> Fixing my drainage layer. We in there. We in there. My plants are still doing great. Haven't killed anything. Well, yeah. Except for this. Let me tell y'all. This is the hardest thing I had to deal with. Dealing with bromeliads that do not like that aren't big like so this bromeliad is big these two were like cuttings and like yeah i don't know i don't know but other than that here look another pup is coming from the bromeliad another little one so I'm gonna let that one stay. I'm not. I'm not gonna take that out. <laughs> Cause I don't get that. One. I don't get it. But yeah, my pot of palms is fine. Remember the one I put in the water? It's still living. It's still fine. My pothos is well. Work. You see it? Remember? It started with that one little, one little stick, and boom, a whole forest, which is dope. Another one is growing up. Same thing. It's leaning over. It's going to fall over. So my arrowhead plant was too big for this side because the substrate was too much. So it was touching the top. So I put it in the middle. He was just running around. So it's drooping over. But it was standing up and everything. So that filled in that. Now the bad part with that is since those plants are there and hanging over... It is completely dark back there now. So now with that being said, my dwarf hair grass is no more. <laughs> there is no more dwarf hair grass because, yeah, you know what? The light, the light has been drowned out. So my six cherry barbs I have, I don't know if I filled you guys in, but yeah, no more fish. This this basilisk is a monster, okay? So, like he hunts down everything, which I like, you know, I like it. I'm trying to find it. <laughs> I honestly love it. it's like Jurassic Park or something. And then when you find it, it's just those eyes. Those the yellow eyes just pop up at you. See, this is a little cave that he actually made himself. So he hides under there. But yeah, I don't know where it's at, yeah. But that's why I like it. It's so fucking crazy how this shit <laughs> it, like disappears. It's so dope. It's a whole little forest. Before I found him wherever. Now everything has grown in. He feels a lot more comfortable. Yeah, he just hides. He's probably over here. Oh, I found him. Yes. Okay, guys, look. Um, I'm going to try to take this glare off. Y'all see him? He's right there. Those eyes. Those eyes give it away. But I told you, he hides under there. When he wants to cool off, that's his little trench.
these trenches over there. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. This is basking light. I changed it from that um, 100 watt power sun to the 75 watt with the 10.0 UVB bulb. That um, power sun bulb was too strong. It was too strong for this 75 gallon per se. I feel like if I was like when I do the double decker thing, it will be strong enough. You know, it won't be too strong, but. As of now, I had to take it out. It was too hot. He was running around like, you see how I'm sitting in front of the tank? I wouldn't, I wasn't able to sit in front of the tank and it'd be quiet. He just started jetting, running his, running into the walls and stuff. It was crazy. But that was my fault because I went away for a week and had no, like, it's in New York. So we've still, we right now we're still in winter time <laughs> and it's May. So that one week I went away, it, it went to 80 degrees. Like right now, right now, as, as I'm recording, it is 62 degrees outside. 62. Now I went away about last week or the week before, and it went up to 80 something, 90 degrees. And my whole terrarium had a shock, which is okay, because again, things are alive, so it's okay. But it was hot. It got really hot in here. And yeah, look, you can tell. That's one of my pathos, exactly. So, uh, right now I'm in the process of getting things, you know, revamped back together. But he actually did hurt himself, you know, running around and scraping his face on the top. Uh, it was, it's bad, but it's not too bad. But I just didn't want that at all. I didn't want the nose rubbing or anything. So I'm a little upset, but it's okay. We'll make it happen. We'll make it happen. So since I changed this area around, I kind of cut off the flow to the filter. So I didn't remember how I had the fountain pouring up. I had to take that down and use it as a flow. So it was basically gener generating the clean water because there's three filters over there in this corner. Just because I don't need it. It's just, it's a basilisk. I work a lot. It's New York. So I got to be able to, you know, keep myself healthy. So three filters over there. One is pushing all the clean water as a jet out here into the pool. Now this pool is not stagnant, but you see it's, the flow is like okay. Before the flow was too so strong where the whole thing was moving, moving, waving, waving. You'll see, you'll see in other videos. So I like this a lot. I like this a lot. Now I can actually get some betas, you know, have some sorority betas and all that. Just because the flow is not too much. I can only have tetras because, in like barbs like this, because the flow is so fast. But now, I can do whatever I want. My Matricina, my Matricina palm, my plant is back there. It's doing great. Um, yeah, guys, that's really it. Still have my thing on the top for my humidity. Um, yeah, I have my two lights. That's definitely just so this side can be bright. I want a little greenhouse over here. But yeah, my Croton. It's dope, guys. I love it. I love it. So you see my pothos just took it over. And the arrowhead plants just in the middle. Yep, yep. So, that is all, guys. Please let me know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know. Oh, sorry. So, I bought these plants from... Oh. She's out. <laughs> so, I bought these plants from, like, Petco, and those little, like... And this little thing. You know, those things that be coming with the little water gels and stuff like that. Now, let me tell you, those Java, Trident Java ferns are great, okay? I've had them, and they have not died on me at all. So, I am a huge fan of any type of Java fern. Because they are the epitome of you don't need too much for, like, too much work. All those other plants that I bought died. Every single one. Just, a, oh, look, and they're eating the cricket. It's a dead cricket. Oh, they, they're, eating, they're eating it. 
That's why I love this fish shit. They clean up the tank is dope. Now I'm trying to show you his snout. You see? It's a little messed up. It's not too bad, but check him out. She is definitely growing. The little baby crest. She is a lot bigger than what she was before. In her little domain, her jungle. I love it. Let me know, guys. Like and subscribe. I don't post that many videos anymore. I don't want to, you know, be redundant. I want you guys to see the growth and the change. Like, this is a massive change from when I first started. So, like, this is so exciting. Like, it is so exciting and very well, rewarding. So, yeah, this is Babs, guys. About to close out. Let me know. Definitely, you should try one. Those piercing eyes. I don't think she can never really hide because those eyes, you see the once the light catches them, it's like, whoa, they're so bright. It's so dope.